so I have not seen Potomac but I've seen all the clips I have seen what's been popping on Twitter and violence is never good you're never supposed to put your hands on nobody else I actually said that years ago but people didn't want to hear that what I said about that old situation was don't antagonize somebody and tell them to whoop your ass is what I said and I also said that people's words can sometimes be as vicious as putting them paws on somebody and there is some validity to that there just is sometimes folks be writing checks their asses can't cash now that is not saying that it is okay to throw a drink on someone or shift a wig okay but folks and their mouths need to be held accountable too and by held accountable i don't mean physically assaulted I mean they need to be held accountable by their bosses like we want to kiki and watch these shows and it'd be fun and be light shade and then they make up and all that but from what happened to Monique and then the subsequent mental health issues that that girl I don't speak about anymore said that she endured um to what's happening with Wendy, Mia, Robin, and Giselle. The shit just is team too much. And ain't really fun to watch. Talking about my situation. But, you know, I was deemed a crybaby when somebody, the elder OBGYN, wrote a check. Her ass couldn't cash. And had I ran up on that stage, how I felt so hurt and mortified and whooped her ass, I would be the villain. But like Wendy, I held my composure, right? I actually did better than Wendy because I didn't even go after her. And when I finally said something to her, I said it very calmly. She acted a damn fool. To this day, she has not been held accountable for her what she's done to me. And so, and what Simone did by telling her my business. And that's all I'm saying. Folks with their mouths, when they go too goddamn low, need to be held as accountable as people who get violent. Period. Happy Thanksgiving.